What's up my gamers? This is Outer Bottle. Welcome to uh this is a hybrid video. It's a combination of Boomer Bust and a Budget Beast video because we're gonna take a look at 92 overall playoff Reggie Nelson. The reason why I say it's a hybrid video is because Reggie Nelson cost around sixty thousand coins in an auction house. Now to some of you big millionaires that may be nothing so he's gonna be a budget player for you guys but to people just starting out who just got the game on Christmas or who just picked it up in the last couple of weeks 60,000 coins is a lot so it's gonna be a boomer bust type of video for those guys because he's gonna be a high-end player for them as you can see I have compared to 92 overall team of the Riaha Clinton Dix because I got a subscriber on YouTube who mentioned it in one of my videos that I should review Nelson because he plays just like Haha -ha Clinton Dix and I agree. Haha -ha Clinton Dix goes for around 120 to 130,000 coins in an auction house though today people have been buying them up so I mean if you're going to pick them up you might want to do that quickly. As you can see here I mean they're both pretty balanced they have good speed Haha -ha is taller. Reggie has the better play rec and coverage in general, and Haha -ha looks to be a better against the run with 85 tackle, 91 pursuit, and 89 hit power, but Reggie doesn't disappoint either. This is going to be a shorter video than most of my videos because they play the same way, and so most of the things I'm going to say about Reggie Nelson I've already said with Haha -ha Clinton Dix, so I'm not going to go into going to repeat myself when it comes to some of the particulars when it comes to Reggie Nelson. I'll give you guys a general overview of how he plays. And how we're going to do that, we're going to take a look at some tape. Let's get it. Okay, I lied earlier. They don't play exactly the same. Reggie Nelson is a little bit better in the run game because he approaches the ball carry and pursues him a little bit sooner than Haha -Ha Clinton Dix does. Haha -Ha usually waited till the runner back out either to the line of scrimmage or just a little bit after to start coming down on a ball carry. And as you can see, as soon as he gets the ball, Reggie Nelson's coming down and he definitely can lay that boom as you can see right here. Now, into the meat of what a free safety does in terms of protecting a deep ball, Reggie definitely has the play rack in the zone coverage to react to the ball just in time to get down there. And even though if you may be worried about his hit, hit power only being 82, you can see he definitely could come down and break up the pass. He was very good in my scheme, which I run like a 3-4 hybrid scheme, but I like to send a lot of my safeties in the corners deep so that I can stop the deep ball and put some pressure underneath. And you see here he's coming in, flying in from the middle of the field and coming down to take down that pass. He's pretty good in overall in my opinion. Now in terms of hands and getting turnovers, which is the most important stat in the game besides score, Reggie Nelson was very good at that. Here he is covering the flat route. He falls down and get ups and is able to take it to the house. I mean, overall, I mean, anything that anybody likes about Ha Ha Clinton Dix or any of the top tier free safeties, you can find in Reggie Nelson, and he's only 60,000 coins. He can cover zone. He can't cover man that well, but he's decent. And he's decent enough. He can cover zone. He can stop the run, and he can pick off the ball. I mean, honestly, what more can you ask? Well, as you can probably tell, Reggie Nelson is definitely a boom for his price of 60,000 coins. For half the price of high clean dicks, you get a player who plays just the same in your defense. I mean, Reggie Nelson can stop the run, he can cover deep, and he has good enough hands to pick off the ball. I definitely think you guys should pick him up if you're transitioning in between safeties or you're trying to save some money on the back end to beef up your front seven. That's it for this video. Check out for my next video. I'm probably going to drop one on that new uh, 90 overall Bud Dupree. He's a definitely a good user beast. I have some videotape of him that I'm putting together for you guys. And I'll probably should release that in a couple days. That's it for this video. If you like the content in this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. But if you don't like it, you know you don't have to. I'll see you next time. Peace.